And it was narrated that a Bedouin came to Umar ibn al-Khattab and he asked him to clothe his daughters and their mother. So he says, Ya Umar al-Khayri juzit al-Jannah Uksubu nayyati wa ummahunna Wa kullana min al-zamani junnah Aqsamtu billahi natafalanna Fa'ajaba Umar وَإِنْ لَمْ أَفْعَلْ يَكُونُ مَاذَا Umar رضي الله عنه responds And if I don't, what happens next? The Bedouin, he continues يَكُونُ عَنْ حَالِ لَتُسْأَلَنَّا يَوْمَ تَكُونُ الْأُعْطِيَاتُ هِنَّا وَمَوْقِفُ الْمَسْؤُونِ بَيْنَهُنَّا إِمَّا إِلَى نَارٍ وَإِمَّا جَنَّا Umar رضي الله عنه upon hearing this he began to weep and cry. He was moved. His tears drenched his beard. Then he looks at his servant and he says, Ya Ghulam, I'aqihi qamisi hadha li thalik al-yawm la li shana for that day. Not for his poetry. Fa wallahi la amliku ghayra. Allahu Akbar. He didn't have much to give, but he did not want to waste this opportunity. These are the examples. These are the heroes. أولئك آبائي فجئني بمثلهم إذا جمعتنا يا جرير المجامع أم الله we are going to die and this life is not infinite in fact it's for night day after day our time gets closer to the time we will be put into our graves if you give in this dunya you will say I wish I gave more and if you are stingy with it you'll think why was I stingy Oh Allah, oh Allah, reprive me a little while, bring me back so I may give in charity. Just come across this village completely destroyed. Apparently the only structure that's still standing is the masjid. Alhamdulillah after a four hour drive we got to the base of the village. We're not at the base of the mountain. There's still more to go. This is the most we can go by car. These guys are absolute pilots so even though the two trucks look like they are the same size. I think one's more powerful than the other one. So we're just transporting the goods from one truck to the next. And we're gonna take it all the way to the top there. And we can't even see the village from here. We see the top of the mountain or what we think is the top, but there's still more after this. And then the judgment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes these Car can no longer proceed. We're hopping on these motorbikes. <laughs> yeah, they're so happy, man. Hey. We're wedged in between two mountains. Halas, this is the furthest we could go. Obviously, me and Taysir can keep going further with the motorbikes because that's how we came up. But these guys, they brought the van up. I'm behind them in the motorbike and I'm seeing the van and it's on the edge. And I'm like, Ya Rabbister, Ya Rabbister. So months later, we're back in Morocco again. The hype's died down. The people still need help. And this is how it usually is after every calamity. People are hyped, everyone's donating. All the influencers, all the organizations, they're all down. They're getting the content, they're doing the distributions, but months, months later, when the people need it the most, halas, no one's here. We just finished the distribution and already there's a mother that's wrapped herself and a child in the blanket. That's how necessary and how vital these blankets are. Making our way to one of the Syrian refugee camps. That's a bit of a drive outside of Amman. They violated us, man. The car is packed. Packed. Me and Taysir crammed in like sardines. 
I'm trying to go to sleep, he's trying to go to sleep, he's falling on me, waking up. I was here the last time, man. Then Afghanistan happened, Morocco happened, Libya happened, Gaza happened. Done a campaign for them. Told them, inshallah, inshallah, I'm gonna do what I can, but in my head, I'm like, by the time winter comes, we're gonna provide caravans for them. Winter came about, and there's no caravans provided. I was at their place yesterday, wallahi, sah. Kids running around in the muck. Apparently they change locations every three months. Depends on if the person who wants to give them the land allows them to stay in the land. And for them to stay in the land, they also have to work pretty much for free for that farmer or for that businessman or whoever it is. So they can get electricity and stay in the land. And usually if it's farmers, it's within seasons, it's seasonal. There's no need for you to be here no more. Your whole purpose was to help me on the land, help me harvest the strawberries. Now the strawberries are harvested. And it's sad because once the harvest is done, خلاص, there's no need for them to be on the land no more and they pretty much get kicked out. Now the first place that we did get caravans, they've been there since eight years. So they're there steady for the whole time. Well, wallahi, one of the things that I've been thinking about is, subhanAllah, they went from seeking refuge to seeking refuge again. So they came from Syria to Jordan, and then within Jordan, they're getting kicked around from place to place. Ah, you're right, wallahi. Fadlak, barakallahu fiq na. All natural orange juice. Yesterday, I was floating about inspecting the camp, and my whole shoe got pulled off from the mud, they got stuck and nearly sank, it was a madness, salam alaykum. <laughs> Came here yesterday and they literally thought I was here to get snaps. But Alhamdulillah, 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 Alhamdulillah. Thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then thanks to you guys. Because I did have that fundraiser up for one day. It's mad. That vlog launched one day and then the Morocco earthquake happened. When the Morocco earthquake happened, خلاص, that was the fundraiser. I launched that and went to Morocco. Then after Morocco, the day I landed in Morocco, they're like, oh, did you see what happened in Libya? Open the fundraiser for that. Then after Libya, Afghanistan. Then after Afghanistan, Gaza. It's a mad thing. So I'm glad and I'm grateful for your generosity. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. One day, 13 bags. And we managed to get fuel for 150 families. Not only that, but there's heaters, there's blankets, and bithinla ta'ala, we're gonna do more. This is just the start. I might do like another fundraiser, inshallah, for actual something solid, for caravans, uh, and for people to actually benefit. There's a celebrity here that MATW brought. His name is uh, Yahya something, I don't know his second name, but he's like a Jordanian Hezbollah. Tara sawra, dina kilmi, al khafif. السلام عليكم شو اخبارك حبيبي كيف حالك؟ الحمد لله شو الاخبار؟ الحمد لله يا جماعه قدرنا نامن اكثر من 150 عيله يعني تقريبا 150 عيله 600 شخص والحمد لله انا كثير مبسوط لاني انا موجود هون وشكرا لكم بارك الله فيك رايت سو ذير يو جو وير ار يو فروم؟ ام فروم ليبيا او ماي جاد نايس نايس اند يو وير يو فروم؟ جوردن جوردن اهلا وسهلا بك أهلا حبيبي بارك الله فيك يا حنين الشوق فينا حل بين يا حنين هل تذكرت الليالي عطرها ينسي الحب جيب 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 Everyone's on top of everyone والله we've had to شو هاي بدي ضربة ما عاد بس بعدونا هيك بعدونا I was worse earlier they were fighting والله they were fighting I didn't want to film it they were they were fighting to the point where they were like, we're going to cancel the entire distribution. I was like, nah, we need to keep going. We need to finish this. I'm afraid when we run out of stock, people are going to pounce on us, man. So in Libya was a bit more of a headache, trying to figure it out ourselves and sort it out. But what we did was we printed out coupons that can't be replicated. 
it was like even the paper that we printed that on was high quality paper if they fall copy this coupon we will still know about the quality of the paper the brothers here they got conned bro i'm seeing a couple of faces again and they're giving the same voucher and i'm looking at it and i'm like wait why is the voucher only a yellow card and they're like that's all we have this isn't the same card that these are giving out so it turns out People have got seconds and thirds and other people that didn't get knew that they're getting seconds and thirds so they're pissed off and people are just getting physical, fighting, it's a madness. But you know what, wallah I don't blame them, dude. it's out of desperation. قلت لك هذه شنو أردنية؟ هاي أردنية أردنية مش مقاطعة؟ هاي أردنية مش مقاطعة مع مش ضد مق... مع مقاطعة مع مع ولا ضد؟ مع المقاطعة وقت الصلاة هو المغرب we're gonna catch that and then after we're gonna hit a قهوة What's this called? Allah ma barak Yesterday I woke up to the room smelling like perfume Allahumma barik. I was like, brother, what's going on? And then I'm just hearing him throw up. Not once, not twice, not three times. Um, so this is why we're here. He has some issues. I think he got. Uh, it's not easy. It's not easy, sir. He's getting an antibiotic for his teeth, something for his stomach, something to rejuvenate him. I think later on the dentist is gonna come and try. I don't know, extract his tooth.